upskilling can be done or is required to be done in sales and marketing. I remember knowing nothing about you know, what I am doing in my career. Um, one is soft skills and another one is hard skills. So I never knew that I will be doing strategy. Probably start with something which you are good at. In marketing something you have to leverage your brain behind the screen. So Warm good afternoon everyone. Today I Krish along with my co-host Tanya Mishra welcome you all to the marketing round table being organized by Delhi Institute of Advanced Study affiliated with Guru Gobind Singh in the Prague University. We have amongst us experts from industry and academics. From industry we have Ms. Ekta Mohajan, Lead Strategy, GTM from Vivo India and Mr. Dhira Sharma, Regional Head Agency Relations, Time Internet. From academics, we have amongst us Ms. Sunali Tanecha, Assistant Professor at Dias. The Marketing Round Table intends to provide an opportunity to comprehend the various options and skills required for the students intending to pursue their careers in the area of marketing. So, generally in the final year of any management course, students have to up for specializations, which is a stepping stone towards their career. This time is full of ambitions and apprehensions. The whole purpose of organizing this event is to bring clarity in the minds of students. So let's begin with the discussion. So how we will be going about this? We are going to ask two sets of questions and we will be talking, taking an overview of all the experts seated here. So our first question is going to be, what are the five main attributes according to you which a student need to have to be successful in the field of marketing, in their quality and something which needs to be worked upon on a continuous basis. Sir, ma'am, I would like all you to please uh, share your views on this. Yeah. 
myself i remember knowing nothing about you know what i'll be doing in my career um, i just knew that i i liked i was a finance person i liked numbers okay and i never thought and i was a introvert so i never thought that i i will be anywhere related to marketing where i knew or sales maybe where i knew i i will have to talk now my job is that 80% of the time depends on how i am able to communicate all right how effective i am whether it is to the outside audience or internally within the organization so being a marketer you know remember whether or not you are in a marketing domain within an organization remember you are always marketing. either you are marketing for the company or you are marketing yourself within the company all right now when you think that like uh, you know uh, already very well he has explained these are the crux remember that if anything will change around you things are very quickly changing right ai is there chat gpt is there the way we used to work the efforts that we used to put in has maybe come down come down to one tenth level right uh, there is a lot of automation already so for things that you know the technical aspects of thing you can easily download it from web now so maybe how you uh, you know your value system is okay how you are able to connect and understand people is going to be important always so if anything can replace the technical aspect nothing will be able to replace the human intelligent aspect as easily it has been for the technical aspect so the more more you will be able to understand people around you better you will be in your life whether it is your professional life or your you know personal life and it is not going to go away so first thing that understand people understand for who you are working for understand what your work is who are your who you are trying to communicate to who you are trying to sell to or even for the from the finance aspect when you are working for the organization you have to understand the pain points of the organization only then you will be able to be efficient or good at your job one is that second never underestimate the power of continuous learning upgrade 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 there was a time in my life when i was in this uh, in this college and i knew i was not in a plus colleges i was not in iims or you know fms of the world but when i was giving my interview uh, i was pitched against the fms person only so the only difference probably at that point of time was the exposure i got there i probably that was a little bit lacking but at the same time my skills were then we crack that interview when an fms person was in the interview right right now also in my organization when i am looking for new hires probably there are fresh fresh uh, you know uh, fresh graduates from fms I am with the boy. Yeah, people are pitching against same same set of people. What will differentiate you is how much you are able to upgrade yourself, your skill set. Degree will matter to a level. Your skill set is going to be the key, and it will remain throughout your life. You can't say I have learned enough, right? For three years now, what have I done? I have just scored the time. Time for the work. Do I have to work? Just now, now I have to come back. I will come back. Yeah, now I have to come back. I will come back. and people will automatically see my talent nobody is going to see your talent you have to market it continuously you have to upgrade it and to a very certain level only if you are lucky enough you will have bosses or seniors or you know people who are pushing you to reach to your maximum self it should come from you you should know that it is you your life your career how you want to shape so that these are the things and no people around you Continuously, you must, you might think, you might go back and think it's for generic goals, right? but your life is, it's a child, it's a generic thing. It's just a crap. Like the teaching at a level, you understand that the teachers are not there, not the public, not the public. It's not okay, but no, but there is no replacement for hard work. Ma'am, I think you'd like to add. Yeah, I think most of the points have been already been covered. Points I would like to add to the, uh, when we talk to the students, we normally tell them that you have to uh, have two types of skills. One is soft skills, and another one is hard skills. So uh, when we talk about soft skills, much of them have been covered, like interpersonal skills, the confidence which you are uh, showing up in your work, 
that all matters. Uh, in addition to that, hard skills, if you talk particularly about the marketing, then you should be well read. Reading is something which is very important to get, as sir said, that you sh and ma'am also said, that you should be upgraded. So you should know the nuances of the market. And uh, one more thing which is very important, I think, in, for the marketing profile is the creativity. The creativity question in the student is very important and that comes with the curiosity, inquisitiveness that you have in your mind. Like if something is happening, why it is happening? Why are we doing this? That kind of questions should come in the mind of the students. This will make them more uh, aware about the environment. So I think that is something which is very important. I believe uh, uh, most of the points, I only really remember that I was seeing one article of Alan Musk, it was a video on LinkedIn, that ma'am said that, you know, that one has to be curious. So I remembered that how, you know, skittish he was when he was interacting with his product team, that if he has to build up ideas, start and keep on asking questions, questions to the core, questions till that time he is done and he understands each and everything. So I believe, yes, that's a very, very important point. One has to be clear. One has to be Thank you. Thank you all. I believe those were really powerful words. Uh, next we have uh, one of the most, uh, I would say, requested question. Uh, what are the skill sets required and profiles available in the field of market? There are a number of fields, you know, available. Uh, there's then uh, brand roles, uh, which are available. There are content writing roles, which are available. There are PR roles, which are available. There are marketizing roles, which are available. There are research related roles, which are available. There is go to uh, market GTM, which is also part of, uh, you know, marketing, which are available. So there are a variety of roles. Um, you need to understand what you like with your career and where your interests lie and uh, be relentless. You might not get it today but I am sure if your skill sets are there and you know you are relentless in your approach, never, you you should not, never give up. That's how I reach where I am but because I never knew that I will be doing strategy to be very honest. I didn't ever know. So strategy is another part brand strategy. something that I never imagined in my life I would be doing or I would be leading let alone um, dealing with CEO on a daily basis advising him uh, on what to do and what not to do it's a huge lot of risk so how do you mitigate that it's a relentless approach you can't just say I'll be able to reach there in the next five ten years uh, but you need to know where what direction you want to take your career and eventually when you are there in that you navigate you see, okay, this is not fitting well with me. Can I learn something new or talk to my seniors or see where I can be placed better, how I can use my approach better? It's an ongoing process. So that's uh, you asked me what kind of roles, so I think I can answer that. So since um, you know, we are talking about roles, probably let's take the second uh, writing. One is the first of all. Identify your skill sets. If you are good in, let's say for example, in cricket, probably you must not go for singing. So that, that first you need to do a deep type within yourself. And then probably start with something which you are good at. And then you will be, you know, uh, shown way, navigate. Once you are a part of the industry, you can marketing something you have to leverage your brain behind you know, this, this stream. So how good you are, how acceptable you are, the utilization of your skill sets in the industry probably that takes you through. Thank you. So I think uh, uh, many things have already been said. Uh, see, when we talk about the students' mindset, they are very, they are very in much of a doubt that uh, we want to be able to get the sales. We will get this good. But what kind of profiles will we get? 
बच्चो इफ यू समराइज एंड इफ यू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन देर आर वेरियस डोमेन इन दी मार्केटिंग राइट इट सेल्स इज डेफिनेटली दी फाउंडेशन ऑफ मार्केटिंग then we have uh, we have we are connected digitally these days so we have digital marketing they can try their uh, career in digital marketing also then uh, you know and in the curriculum which goes on in the college we have event management students uh, carry on with the events they manage each and everything in the event uh, which we organize in the college so they can opt in for that kind of career also moreover they can also uh, go in their career for uh, they can also go in for the offline campaign creation also these are a few things that they can uh, think upon if we talk about marketing as a career if we want to understand what profile they will be uh, coming across in the future when they will be setting up for their interviews so i just want to add so i have that now for the next question is it, this question is already answered by ekta ma'am now but what is the lead time of a person with sales experience shifting to marketing profile anything you guys like to add up see uh, there is no formula for this trust me there is no formula day one you can be in sales day one you can be in marketing or try to do all your things to be on your skills that you have to know you must go to what what you have inside rather than you know what it is for you so you should be able to know that and uh, whatever it is that you have you should know that and uh, so that I am a person trust me uh, if you are being looking for the roles properly you will get it in some time but trust me there is no problem actually is that easy all right so even if you are part of sales or maybe you are doing something else today okay i don't know if uh, that is maybe market research uh you work on what you are doing upgrade continuously network continuously and if you feel in the uh, you know in the middle of 
your career that you know what you are doing is not uh, what you wanted to do in your life now we get nothing will stop you but being so i mean um, a don't fear that today you are not getting what you want in your life if you can network and try and get a, as soon as possible because that's like the best case scenario if you are able to do what you wanted to do in your life but from the very beginning Because to be very honest, I am in this role, and I never thought I would be given such a challenging role in my life. Every day, आपकी हालत बुरी होती है. Because आपको CEO को accountable हो गया. आपको नहीं पता आप ये कह रहे हो कल को उन्होंने वो decision ले लिया आपके कहने पर और आपके ऊपर ही और everything relies on or they will question you. What will happen? Your bonus will go for a toss. Your uh, they will probably bench you and not give you. very interesting projects uh, going forward so it's a continuous learning process okay there are ways you can get into what you want do sales is one way research is another way you can write content creation is another way pr is another way marketing is another way there are lot of lot of windows do your research as well don't just rely on you know what faculty is telling you or maybe your friends or net, current network is telling you it is आपके पास बहुत और रिसोर्सेज हैं जो हमारे पास नहीं होते थे रीच आउट टू बोर्ड स्पीक टू बोर्ड एक्सपीरियंस लॉट लाइक ही इज टेलिंग यू फ्रॉम हिज एक्सपीरियंस देर इज नो टाइम लाइन दिस इज एक्चुअली ट्रू मुझे नहीं पता था कि मैं रिसर्च से स्ट्रैटेजी में आ जाऊंगी आज भी अगर मैं बोलूँ तो आपको क्या लगता है वर्ड स्ट्रैटेजी रोल आई विद इन दर्गेनाइजेशन आई टू एक्सप्लेन वट माई रोल इज पीपल विल बी कन्फ्यूज देर एक्चुअली कन्फ्यूज स्ट्रैटेजी में ऐसा क्या करते हो स्ट्रैटेजी तो हमें पता ही है ना मार्केटिंग वाले को आप स्ट्रैटेजी समझाओगे क्योंकि तो आप हमें क्यों सब स्ट्रैटेजी समझा रहे हो हमें पता है कि हमें अपने ऑडियंस को कैसे समझाना है सेल्स वाले को समझाओगे वो कहेगा मुझे पता है मुझे कैसे बेचना है राइट सो डोंट बी अफ्रेड अफ्रेड ऑन योर स्किल आप डेवलप करिए आपके पास अभी जो अपॉर्चुनिटी आपको लग रहा है मैं एक्स वाई जी कॉम्प्रोमाइज करके मुझे बाय ए बी सी मिल रहा है वो मेरे लिए ओके है तो आप जाइए कंटिन्यूसली अपने को कॉन्फिडेंट that i want to go for sales yes i chose sales i chose sales uh, when i started my career and i'm very very gung ho about it and very proud because i know that when when you close a deal there are a lot of people who come and pat on your back it feels amazing guys it feels truly amazing so it's a matter of choice and choices are never wrong the choices are always different but never wrong well said Next question is my personal favorite question. Uh, what is the average package of a student who is hired for entry level sales position and entry level marketing position, respectively? Um, so I would like you to initiate. Our first question from a student. Even if Uh, you throw this question to any of the industry leader he would understand you know where this question is coming from uh, so uh, as i said that there is no formula to this but the companies which are coming for the campus recruitment you would have analyzed the trend that you know these are the companies which are coming to your campuses with such and such packages you can analyze the trend and you can find that you know what is the average salary which is being brought by any student which goes passing out passing out from your college so that's A, which will help you out. B, uh, there are companies which are offering various packages to the different different institutes, and um, uh, depends upon what 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 you do in your interview and group decisions. Thank you. Uh, somewhere it also like i and uh, it also uh, 
depends on which organization you are coming from. I thankfully uh, got an opportunity uh, where you know um, I was pitched against a lot of A um, A affiliated or um, institutes. I mean, people were there from a lot of bigger and well-known institutes, and same package was offered. But in my organization, where I'm I am currently working in, uh, in earlier days, right now so there are no um, you know, pressures uh, being recruited but in earlier days there was a clear differentiation. So in sab cheezo se farak padta hai but at the end agar aap mein caliber hai aapke boss ko dik gaya, thik hai, toh wo up for example I fight for my team where I th see there is a decent gap in their salary but their work is much better than others who have come from XYZ colleges. I fight for them. A lot will also depend on your you know, path that you take. Don't be afraid. Yes, of course you want to sustain a certain certain lifestyle. You want to have a certain lifestyle. But then you have to be If you have a situation as you have to compromise. For example, I started from research. And when I got that salary, uh, it was a very decent salary. But in 15 years, that base package has not moved much. But the expenses have all obviously changed. At that time, probably if I was living in a uh, rented apartment with, with an ex expense, now that expense is 2x. So in the same salary, probably you will not be so excited as I was back then 15 years, 14 years back. Right? So that's that's the, that's life. Okay. I don't want to give hardcore answer to this question. Because if uh, I am in the world, if I am ISB, I am in the world, then maybe I will start with 40 lakhs. I will start with 40 lakhs. I will start with 40 lakhs. And I will not want to demotivate you. Because in reality, you will start with 40 lakhs. You will start with growth. You will start with 40 lakhs. 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 But if you start with 40 lakhs, you will start with 40 lakhs. You will start with 40 lakhs. You will start with 40 lakhs. So don't give up on yourself and don't think that I don't have XYZ, I am very demotivated, I am very demotivated, I am very demotivated, I am very demotivated. You have a lot of things that we have not done, so you have to leverage it. You have to network, you have to do it, 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 you have to do it. You have to be ruthless. You have to be ruthless and being a female, you have to be telex ruthless. Okay, that is the hard code reality. This is just a stepping stone. Uh, if you get a chance and uh, if you have a figure in your mind, uh, if you see that this goal which is being offered to you is very good, don't lose that opportunity. Just enter into this public world and if you have full skills, start to work. Now for the fifth question, what kind of upskilling can be done or is required to be done in sales and marketing? Any views ma'am? So I think uh, as we have observed, I have uh, seen in the placement, I have observed, these students can upskill themselves, uh, as ma'am also mentioned earlier, uh, they should know content writing. If they, they can, uh, they can uh, uh, prepare themselves for what kind of roles they will get with that content writing. Then they can also learn uh, the foreign language, which will help them to land up a job in, again in the MLCs. And uh, I think these two uh, things are second. Uh, moreover, they can also go for the analytics as I said, research is something. And the data is obviously, which is increasing day by day. So I think that these are the few things they can work upon. There are variety of courses also online. So uh, I mean, you see, uh, there are free courses also, and there are paid courses also. Uh, sky is the limit. You understand and uh, what you want in your life. Speak to people. Understand what kind of relevant skill sets are required to land up that job. Okay, because sometimes uh, you probably don't know, and you are just you know. Uh, <coughs> working on multiple things but not on one 
certain things which might help you get what you want in your career so uh, some she has very rightly pointed out ek uh, entry ho jana aasan ho jata hai like if you have a foreign language if you for example i'm a chinese based organization if you need no chinese they will they will be very happy to hire you even if you are not a you know ielts be pass that is one skill that is rare to find right uh, then uh, if you know for example you want to come in, uh, land a job in pr write blogs do content writing all right what what is stopping you if you want to land a job in design aapke mein merchandising ki bhi jobs hote hain aap design mein jaiye aap bahut freelancing kar sakte hain aapko freelancing ke kitne options hain kuch mat charge kariye par aap kariye usko aap apna build kariye profile us tarah se and people will recruiter you can show those cases to the recruiter marketing hai for example aap koi xyz organization hai for example kal ko aapke paas क्या होता है बहुत सुना हुआ है केस की सेलमी दिस पेन राइट कैसे बेच सकते हो आपके पेन तो वो पेन बेच व्हाट इज इंपॉर्टेंट एक्चुअली नोइंग योर कंज्यूमर इज इंपॉर्टेंट 